here is the final area on the advanced area of communication that's your satellite communication Space technology has witnessed a yeah, phenomenal growth since the launch of man-made satellite Sputnik in 1957. One of the most significant application of space technology has been in the field of communication. I am trying to show you the satellite Sputnik in 1957, which is launched. The people over the world watch international events like Olympic Games via the satellite. A yeah, number of countries are using satellite for military communications which include services to ships, aircrafts and land mobile terminals. Several direct TV broadcasting satellite systems are also being used. Satellite communication is basically a microwave link repeater. A satellite receives energy from an earth station, amplifies it, returns it to a each at a frequency about 2 GHz away from the uplink frequency earth to satellite. So from here to here that's called uplink and from here to here is downlink. So, satellite so used is a geostationary satellite which appears to be a stationary at a given spot above the equator. Actually, it moves with the same angular velocity as the Earth. It completes one revolution per 24 hours and hence appears to be stationed over one spot on the globe. Satellite orbiting the Earth will be geostationary when it is about 36,000 km away from the Earth. This is how the satellite communication is happening and this is your angular velocity of satellite. The general structure of a satellite communication system is a satellite in space link may have many earth station. The user is connected to the earth station through terrestrial networks. See so you can use a terrestrial system, earth station sending data to satellite that's uplink. From here earth station, terrestrial system to user it's downlink. 